the first thing we bump up against is there's so many other people doing this. I wanna be in a place where no one else is. Well, the truth is, this is a big world. There are a lot of people. There are gonna be a lot of people saying very similar things, that things are like you, and them succeeding or them saying what they say does not take away from who you are. You gotta shape your approach to storytelling around your strengths and, and what, what feels right to you. The first thing to understand is that you have to own who you are. Only you can say what you need to say, the way you need to say it, for the reasons that you say it. The reasons that you do things, and your perspective, and your voice, and, and the, the topics you speak about, and all of these things slice you down to such a small niche. You need to really get comfortable owning that space and being in that place. You have a perspective and a voice and a point of view. The next step is to tap into how you feel in the moment. Shortcut for me, consider music, consider the soundtrack of your life. If you wanna do a bold post, pick a song that's gonna be bold, throw your headphones on or whatever you need to do in between takes, just try to hold that emotion. Now you can start to question, what do you wanna leave people with? Why should someone watch or give you their attention? I ask myself these questions on most posts. You know, if, if it's a 60 second message, I know I wanna leave them with something, but coming out of it, what did they get from it? If you're feeling bold, do you wanna do a post where you just simply share how bold you're feeling because most of your posts aren't bold? Or do you wanna encourage people to come out of this feeling really bold themselves? And then now I start to question, how can I make it as personal as possible? Is there a story that I can share from the time where I was challenged with something and I stepped up and I did it and I felt amazing and on top of the world and now I want everyone else to, to feel that. And the only way to feel it is to put yourself out there. So put yourself out there today. How can we make this as personal as possible with our experience and then to the people we're speaking to? Using things like you as opposed to people, you know. Lots of people get scared. No, I would say you get scared. What scares you? The next thing, don't rush it. If we really want to tap into an emotion and we really want to leverage story, we have to give things time. And so when you're sharing your stories, of course, as people start to follow you and, and come on board, they're going to learn more and more and more things about you. But you don't want to rush your message. You don't want to try and um, just pare it down so much that there's no context, there's no explanation, you're not really explaining this thing that happened. And then don't rush through the process of actually making the video or the message or the caption. It literally might take you 45 minutes to do it, but every post is worth it. And so take your time, don't rush the process, practice. You will get better at it. What you wanna do is you wanna, is you wanna find your place where you're comfortable performing a certain way. For me, I'm gonna square my shoulders, I'm gonna stand a certain way, I'm gonna use my hands, I'm gonna look straight ahead, I'm gonna make eye contact. If I'm trying to say something that I want you to see as being sensitive or, or vulnerable or open, that I'm speaking that way slightly slower. And if I wanted to get excited when I wanted to get excited, then there's gonna be much more movement. And so as you're sharing your story, take the pauses. Allow for things to sink in. And so your movement, your expression, your eyes. If I wanna come across as happy, I know that I need, to like, I need to like open my eyes a little bit more and kind of smile a bit and then be like, okay, this, this is gonna be fun, right? Are we gonna have fun? Yay. Yeah? If you do not do this and you do not do it well, you will literally be robbing people from the opportunity of learning from you. You have a perspective, you have a voice, you have a point of view, you have experiences, you have strengths, you have weaknesses, you have all of these things that you can share. You have the daily parts of your life. You have the challenges that you're facing. What I think about most is if I do not do this well, then people will not listen. And I, I am hurting the very people that I'm trying to help. So don't do this for you. Do this for the people who deserve to hear and engage with your message. That's it. All right.